Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Green Lake, on an issue that they came across while going through the Introduction to Maya 2009 course. So here I have a scene from the Introduction to Maya 2009 course, and we're working on uh, building this piece here. So what we'll want to do is actually bridge between the cylinder and the cube. So let's begin by selecting these two pieces of uh, geometry here, going into our polygons menu set, go to mesh and combine. So that will basically turn these two pieces into uh, just one piece. So now that we've done that, we can clear our inputs or construction history by going to edit, delete by type and history since we don't need those anymore. And now we're ready to actually perform the bridge operation between the cube and the cylinder. So to do that, I'll uh, right click and go to my face selection mode and select the three faces here on the cube and then come into my cylinder and select three faces up here on the cylinder. Okay, so now that we've got those selected, let's go to edit mesh and do a bridge. Now, uh, when we do this, we notice that we lost some faces here. If we open up our script editor, we can see we're actually getting an error. What it's telling us is that it requires an equal number of border edges to be selected for the source and target selection. Well, what does that mean? Well, the source is going to be what we had selected first. In this case, it's the uh, portion of the cube, these three faces that we had selected here. And the target is going to be, uh, in this case, the cylinder up here that we're trying to bridge to. So basically the way that the bridge operation works is to take one face from the source and then uh, bridge that to one face in the target. So if we select an unequal amount of faces, the bridge operation can't line up the uh, source and target and it's going to fail. Now, if we take a closer look here, we can see that we actually had more than just three faces selected. Uh, it looks like we accidentally had some selected here in the back as well as here on the bottom. So uh, when we're doing the bridge operation, we're going to want to make sure that we have the same number of faces selected. So I'm going to come in and actually just delete this. And I have another layer set up here with um, a duplicate copy so we can try performing this bridge operation to just make sure that it works. Okay, so I'm going to come right back in and select my faces here on the cube, which will be the source. And then up here on the cylinder, we'll want to make sure that we select the three faces here on the cylinder. And we can always come around, uh, double check just to make sure that we're not selecting anything except for the three that we actually meant to select. And once we're sure of that, we can come in, go to Edit Mesh, Bridge, and let's open up the option box just to make sure that we're uh, performing the right type of bridge. We can adjust this from a linear path to a smooth path plus curve and perform our bridge operation. And we can see it's gone ahead and uh, actually done that for us since we had the same number of faces selected on the source and the target. So once again, whenever we're performing the bridge operation, it's important to make sure that we're selecting the same number of faces on the source and the target. Now, if you want to continue with this training, check out the Introduction to Maya 2009 course. 